You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports 2. Well, we're going to talk about something that I just got in breaking news. XFL Week 2 ratings are in. And uh, yeah, they dropped by 50%. Believe it or not, I think this is pretty good. I think these ratings are actually pretty good. And uh, I'll tell you why. Number number one, two of these games were on FX. Okay. Uh, so I think it ended up, actually the rating I got the other day went up a little bit from what I gave for that initial uh, St. Louis Battlehawks Sea Dragons game. Uh, over on FX, and then the Vegas Vipers and DC Defenders, which was an absolute shit show on television because of the field and the optics. I mean, that pathetic press box and and just everything going on the other night with the rain. It was it was a sort of a tough watch. Uh, it both of these games, I think, performed pretty well under the circumstances. And uh, I'm pretty surprised. A lot of people will see these ratings and be like, oh, my God, they dropped. Well, yeah, they dropped. But you got to remember, week one had network OTA over the air antenna free TV games. Okay, there were none of those on this slate right here. Okay, we had ESPN. We had ESPN2. And we had two FX games. Frankly, I, I I'm pretty I'm pretty positive about what I'm seeing on on here. If you want to know the absolute truth, um, so it was five. It ended up being five hundred fifty three thousand fans for last Thursday night. Vegas Vipers versus DC Defenders, six hundred one thousand viewers. Orlando Guardians versus San Antonio ESPN. 781,000. I think that's pretty respectable. Uh, Houston Roughnecks versus Arlington Renegades. 678,000 viewers. ESPN 2. Now, a lot of people would not think that there would be that big of a difference between ESPN and ESPN 2. Keep in mind, believe it or not, some packages out there, particularly with cable, and yeah, cable still exists. Um, some packages out there in basic cable have ESPN, but don't have ESPN too. You can go look it up. There are actually less households that get ESPN two versus ESPN, and it's kind of a significant number. It's a it's a it's a different offset. Um, I'm actually compared let's let's look at this because i got this from um let's do some comparison versus usfl right quick uh week two of xfl averaged six hundred fifty-five thousand viewers on espn espn2 and fx down 50 percent from week one which was abc espn and fx 1.3 million down 68 percent from week two of the prior XFL three years ago. But, and here's the big but, keep in mind it was the first week of the XFL, including the two prior iterations in which no games aired on broadcast television. That is such a massive, massive deal when looking at these ratings. Not coincidentally, it was also the first week in XFL history in which no game crossed a million viewer mark. Again, no network television. It goes on to give the same ratings I just gave. The 50% decline from week one to week two was sharper than that of the prior XFL three years ago, which dropped 34%. Keep in mind that the previous XFL had as many games on broadcast television in week two as it did in week one. That didn't happen in the XFL this time. Also... Compared to week two of last year's USFL, which consisted of two games on broadcast and two on cable, the XFL's week two audience was down just slightly. The USFL also had a bigger decline 
from week one to week two, dropping by 57% from 1.57 million. Okay. The XFL also had a better week two performance than 2019's Alliance of American Football, which sank 69% from week one, 1.95 million, to week two, 607,000. Okay. As previously noted, it took until the fifth and final week of play in 2020 before the XFL fell below the 1 million viewer mark. All told, only two of 20 XFL games that season got fewer than a million viewers. But, again, a lot of those games actually saw network television. And and that's the other thing we're not accounting for here in all this, by the way, is the people that watched on ESPN+. Plus? Okay. Uh, because those games, these XFL games, were all shown on X on uh, ESPN Plus, so we don't know how many people tuned in there, and I don't think I can get those numbers that I know of. Um, I haven't seen them anywhere, and for whatever reason, streaming is always kind of weird. Uh, let's let's dig a little deeper, very quickly, a little deeper here. Um, at least on the two Sunday games, that's all I've got right here. Uh, there's the 781,000. There's the 678,000. Again, ESPN2. Just things to sort of compare that to. Uh, it beat the hell out of the NHL on ESPN. Now, it did not beat the NHL on actual ABC. But I think if the XFL is on ABC, I think they got another three or four or five, six, seven hundred thousand 700,000 viewers right now, okay? Uh, other things that we can compare it to, it beat MLS, it beat the Premier League, um, uh, it beat uh, UEFA uh, Championship League, it did not beat, uh, it beat several, several, a lot of college basketball games it defeated, uh, Live Golf, it destroyed that. It destroyed the PGA on Golf Channel, but not on NBC. Again, network television. And anything on network television, generally speaking, is going to outdraw. I can tell you right now, had a couple of these games been on ESP, uh, been on ABC, they would have given those ESPN uh, NBA games a run for their money. So I'm just putting that out there, but you get the point. Uh, so, actually, I kind of think these ratings are sort of positive. Okay? Not as sharp a drop-off as AEF or USFL, second from first to second week. Ratings down, but two games on FX, no games on network television. That's a big deal. It truly is. I think if you take, if you take the two games on Sunday, throw them on ABC, both of them get over a million viewers. Okay, that's just slam dunk. Both of them get over a million viewers. Probably like 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 million. And then you've got a different sort of drop-off situation. Um, I was looking the other day. We've got a while, I think, before we return back to over-the-air free antenna. Okay? I think that's kind of a big miss for the XFL and ABC here. Okay? Okay? Uh, because I think a lot of people with OTA antenna would would love to tune in and watch the XFL every weekend. Oh, there's football on, you're sitting around, you got free TV, you don't have cable, you don't have satellite, and there's football on. People, a lot of people are going to check that out. Um, so there it is. I wanted to get a, get the ratings out because they just come out, and uh, I kind of shit all over the attendance the other day, and rightfully so. I mean, it is what it is. The attendance has been disappointing. But I think there's a little a little positivity around these ratings. I really do. When you start breaking down the, the, the fact that we're talking about all cable games, including two FX games, which frankly, I think those FF, X, FX games actually kind of overperformed, if you want to know the truth. Tell me what you think, Black and White Sports 2 supporters. By the way, 
over at PFT, they put these ratings up. Man, is there a thing about NFL fans hating on these spring leagues? Because, man, those NFL fans on PFT's website are destroying the F- XFL. And I really don't get that. I mean, even if I did shit on the attendance and I'm objective and all these things, you know, and I'm very hard on the attendance, and look, I'm going to be very hard on the ratings if they take a sharp plunge. Uh, I want both of these spring leagues. I want the USFL to make it, too. One thing I will say, I would love to see these leagues move a little later in the year. Okay? Uh, Put two or three weeks, maybe a month, between the Super Bowl and the start of the XFL. Move the USFL up about a month. Over in the training camps, there's a lull. Fill that gap in July that the NFL, you know, they're in training camp, but nothing really is going on. And put some USFL games right there. You'll get some viewers. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.